I would ask Brother and Sister Carr if we would come up. moving a second the community Baptist church goes into conference make a move go into conference I second it be moved and second all in favor of this but no saying aye aye all opposed the same sign do I hear a move and a second that we turn brother Carr over to the press to be ordained now I second it be moved and second you get both of them Do I hear a move in a second? I've done got it, ain't I? Yeah. Okay. So we're ready to get started. Jerry Wallen is the church clerk, and I am the moderator. And I'm going to ask Brother Billy Hampton to come, and he's the uh, mouthpiece for Brother Carl. This time I like to say I've known Brother Scott for a couple of days. I met him at the House of Prayer Baptist Church several, several years ago. But what I can say about Brother Scott and his wife, they're faithful. I've known him at work, at Tri County Hospital. He was faithful. Everything he's done, he's done for the glory of God. And he raised his family, him and his wife, and everything side by side. And you can see an example of his child here. I think he's done a real good job of living for the Lord and living a Christian life wherever he's at, even if he's on a job or a church or at home. Everything he does, he wants to give God the praise and the glory for it. And uh, that's really a whole lot to say about a man that's found faithful. Another word I like to use about Brother Scott is integrity. And when he tells you something, he's going to do it. He stands behind what he says. And so many times in this life, people don't know what they've got to offer. And I see in this world, a man has only got two things to offer. And that is his word and his word. Mm -hmm. And in both, Brother Scott is true to them. When he tells you something, he'll follow it through. When it's time to work, He'll be there to do it. And that's what I say about Brother Scott Carr. Presby, you got any questions you'd like to ask? If not, ever hold your peace. Thank you, Brother Bill. I'll be asking the articles of faith. Hold your breath. <laughs> Brother Scott, do you believe that there is one and only one living and true God? Yes, I do. Do you believe that man was created in holiness under the law of the maker, of his maker? Yes, I do. Do you believe that the salvation of sinners is holy in grace? Yes, I do. Do you believe that the great gospel blessing which Christ secured to uh, such as believer in Him is justification? Yes, I do. And the justification includes the pardon of sin? Yes, I do. And the promise of eternal life? Yes, I do. On principles of righteousness? Yes, I do. Do you believe that the blessings of salvation are made free to all by the gospel? That it is the intimate duty of all to accept them by a cordial, uh, uh, patient, and obedient faith? Yes, I do. You believe that in order to be saved, sinners must be regenerated or born again? Yes, I do. 
Presbury, I don't think I need to ask him anymore. What do y'all think? Y'all want to ask him anymore? Of I believe we went over them before. He pretty well knows them. So if it's all right for Presbury, then that's what I'm going to ask you. I remember the rest of it. Oh, I Brother Melvin Fraser is going to come. He's going to preach the church to the candidate and to the church. So I pray that you would listen to the message this afternoon. Brother Scott, there are many things you know that go along with uh, being a minister of God and under the church has been a leader of the church. Sitting now that's been responsible. You know, and I this afternoon we'll go over here Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 you know he left us all the charge there he said that Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given to me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the world Jesus will be with you even unto the end of the world amen as you've been assistant pastor for this church, that's what we ordained you for. And to all, under Jesus Christ, his name, you're being ordained to be a leader and minister of him. To preach his word unto the church and to his people. And to feed them, being an over shepherd. And it's not easy. There's a lot of responsibility going in with it as assistant pastor, just as with the pastor. Church, this is your time. It's up to you to pray for him, to help him. And what he leads, that is for you to help. To hold it, help hold him up in his hard times. Because it's a hard job holding up leadership. Amen. So Scott, well, he knows what it's all about. He's been around long enough to know what the responsibility is and what he has to do. It's your charge to go out and to lead these people, to help them under the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And with that, we're going to close out. Thank you, Brother Bill. That's fine. It's sweet. If the freshman will just come out on down here to cross. <coughs> if you'll stand with us, Brother Dallas is going to have the. Uh, ordination prayer okay. and we're going to come around and lay hands on them and then Brother Hugh McKissick will be presenting the Bible Church, God, help it to grow in the grace and knowledge of the truth. These things were asked in Jesus' sweet and holy name. Amen. 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 Y'all may be seated.
our Father, as we get. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, the Lord, 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 for this time. And we pray, Lord, that you would just take the Lord, 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 Lord, I ask you, Lord, that your people would lead them and guide them in the direction they need to go. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory, Lord, for the work that you're doing with Brother Scott and his family. And God, we just look over them and protect them in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brother Hugh McKissick is going to present the Bible to me. Brother Hugh might make this short to make sure it's not too soon. Study Bible. It's got Brother Scott's name on it. Right, it's the King James Version. It's the one that we, we use here. I want to present it to you, Brother Carr, and I just pray. And it says, Study that you will study and preach the word to each and every one of us. Because it won't come back void. You still stand up and preach the word to us. And that's what every one of us stand in need of daily. Amen. The word Amen. Appreciate it. Thank you. Brother Connor. We're all done with church here tonight. No service here tonight. The building will still be here if they don't get blown away. But there won't be no services here tonight. So let's all of us pray and have a good time this afternoon. Sleep well tonight. Yeah, no. I'm fixing to do that just in a minute. <laughs> well, I'll let it go. Church, we're going to present Brother Carr back to you as an ordained minister and as an assistant of this church. What is the pledge of the church? Make a motion to sit. I'll say. Been moved and second. All in favor of this, let me know by saying aye. Aye. All opposed the same sign. Well, he's officially now. He was worried. <laughs> he thought when we voted him out, he wasn't going to get put back in. <laughs> you had to straighten him out on that. <laughs> but anyway, it's all good. It all worked out for the best. But you still remember. I believe Melvin told him, or Wayne or somebody told him, said, don't you run off when we... <laughs> but anyway, it's really good. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. Anything else before we close? We're going to close in prayer. Come on, ask Brother James. Yeah. That's it. We need to go out of conference. Huh? Go out of conference. Well, I thought it done done that. 
Do I have a move and a second that we go out of conference? I make a move and go out of conference. Second. Then move and second. All in favor of this living on the say aye. Aye. All opposed, the same sign. Go ahead, Our Our congregation is having fun. It's the same thing as long as we know how. Thank you. For this day, this day of life, God, we ask you to take Brother Carr and his family. God, just let him preach the word that you would have him to preach to us and to other people, too. God, just give him all soul for his way. Lord, just take us all and use us together. Because we ask this in the precious name of Jesus to see Amen. 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 Thank you, Christ.